I wanted to share a thought with you about meditation. Every morning I wake up and I feel like I should meditate. And so I go to my phone to get the timer out and then somehow I end up looking at uh, my emails and Facebook and WhatsApp and every other app on there that's demanding my attention. And it doesn't get done. And the reason is that I'm in this mild, mild, I don't know if mild is correct, but in a state of panic that there's so much to do and if I don't get on with it, it's not going to get done. But actually this is interesting because fundamentally I know that people that don't have enough time should meditate. And the reason I don't have enough time is because my brain is all over the place and it's trying to do a million things at once and it's not doing them efficiently. And I know that the answer really is uh, in med meditating every day. So I started thinking like, why am I resisting it so much? Why is there such a massive internal fight against doing it? And I can only think that my subconscious is frightened of me discovering that absolutely everything that I'm doing is really not at all important. And that, you know, my whole ego is, is terrified of perhaps being dissolved. And they are like staging this kind of war against me actually doing this. So, you know, after like years and years and years of this battle, I think that perhaps I'm a bit tired of it. And, you know, I think I see that like the only solution really to finding peace is to, to do meditation every day. So today I finally managed to sit down and do it. And as I was doing it, this thought came up. Um, well, thoughts do come up, even though I was trying to stay focused. I was doing the Vipassana meditation of focusing under the nose. And um, this thought came up that allowing um, peace in my brain was an act of self-love. Self-love is something that I really struggle with. Um, I, I sort of see it throughout the day. Like, for example, if I was to make myself a meal, the way I would do it, you know, I might not put it on a plate. I might just get some kind of dish that's already ready made because I can't be bothered to, to cook anything. And I think about, like, if I had a partner, would I, would I like give them food like this and I'm like no way you know I would I would cook it really nicely I would present it lovely and you know on a clean plate and the little things like that that I I don't do for myself it's like I'm, I'm permanently irritated uh, with myself and um and when this thought came up you know that the allowing the sort of peace of the brain is an act of self-love actually for a little moment like everything went quiet you know and then I just started to cry actually I'm going to start to cry now because that's me I get very emotional about everything but it was so peaceful and so like there was just there was really a few moments of nothing and I don't think I've experienced that well I experienced that in flow state but without that like I haven't experienced that in god knows how long um, and of course, you know, once, once I sort of started crying, I started analyzing that and, you know, off my brain went, but, you know, it really dawned on me that just give yourself a break, like all these kind of thoughts all day long. I need to do this. I need to do that. I need to do that. And actually what became apparently clear is that there's nothing that I need to do really nothing at all. Like, <laughs> you know, just create a nice uh, environment in my brain is all I really need to do. So um, yeah, that was really a revelation. Um, I know there was something else I was going to tell you, but I can't remember it. <laughs> I knew that would happen. I kept thinking of things, thinking oh, I must make a video about this and then thinking no, you don't need to make a video about anything. Just, just be like, you know, it's, it's fine. <laughs> it's not a big deal. Anyway, I guess if it comes to me, I'll make another video. Thanks for listening.